All right, folks, we are done. That was really quick. Took all of uh, 10, 15 minutes to do it right. And um, I have to say it looks sharp. So what did we do? We put the, the thing that we took out of the rubber um, outer piece, uh, the resin part, we put it inside here. It's really nice that they included slotted screws, black slotted screws, instead of the stainless steel Phillips one that came with the G-Shock. And that makes sense because that, well, A, the black matches the case, and also the slotted screws are what are used in this very iconic bezel um, inside that kind of like hex outline. Those are slotted screws um, that are used in the Royal Oak. So the screws over here match those. Just, um, I did scratch a screw a little bit. Um, so just be careful to apply constant downward pressure and a lot of it, because if it slips, you can kind of see that um, the black, it kind of shows, you know, that you kind of made a boo-boo and uh, not a big deal, but you know, if you can be careful and avoid it, all the better. Now, um, when it came to removing the links to size the bracelet to my wrist, that was maybe the easiest I've ever done. Um, exceptionally easy. And they use a, they, they include a separate screwdriver for that. So this screwdriver is for sizing the, bla the bracelet. This is for removing links from the bracelet. Um, and then this is the slotted screwdriver that's for getting it in the new case. So just keep that in mind. That's the one with the blue and it's a bit bigger. The point's a bit bigger. Now, before I put it on my wrist, just wanna make a point. Let's look at these um, links that have been removed. Do you see um, that um, where, where you see the stainless steel underneath the black coating? Um, that is, that's a bit worrying because I wonder how thick this coating in is and how soon it's going to start to wear away, right? And then you're going to see little glimpses of stainless steel underneath. Um, that could, once that starts happening, that's really going to hurt the appearance of this watch. So uh, something to keep in mind. If you're worried about that, maybe just go with the straight uh, stainless steel version and just avoid that. I mean, as it's come, um, I'm not seeing a problem. Um, but if you are wearing this a lot and you're wiping it, that's going to, you know, slowly wear off, uh, the coating and then, um, you could get in trouble. Another thing to note is nice deployment clasp, by the way, but nice butterfly clasp. But another thing to note is that the watch, the, the G-Shock could fit in either way, north to south or, um, you know, this way. So just pick one. Remember the clasp isn't uniform, right? So just just this this part has to close first. And then this part with the, where normally it would say AP, closes on top. So just maybe, you know, try it out, see which one you prefer. I'm gonna put it on my wrist now. There. With the links removed, I think it's looking really sharp. I really like this. This is one of the cheapest watches I own and it's gonna be looking like one of the most expensive. So I will be wearing that more instead of my very trusty Seamaster, which I've owned for over 20 years now. And uh, this dual time that I've been using um, when I really want the dual time feature, because now I have it in this watch, which also has a backlight, right? So I have this, that's pretty neat. <laughs> and let's see what everything's said and done, what this thing weighs. Now that I've removed the links and everything, we started with um, this watch being 170 grams. Let's see, have I saved weight? I'm sure I have. Um, that watch was a behemoth. So let's see what this is. 136 grams. That's a solid 34 grams less. And it's a much more handsome watch. Um, as you can see, the pushers, because they're black, um, they don't stick out too much. They don't, you know, really uh, call attention to themselves too much. Um, obviously, uh, upon even medium attention, you can tell this isn't a real AP. And, and that's not what it's meant to be. You can get fake APs, right? You can get them for a couple of hundred dollars. And apparently really good ones you can get between 500 
and seven eight hundred dollars so but that's not what we're going for we don't want fake watches i don't own any fake watches um but this is just a really neat idea <laughs> the cassie oak i love it uh really looking forward to wearing it thanks everyone for watching i will include links to the watch and the case down below thanks